beloved teacher at the Oregon Culinary Institute is gunned down at the school. It was early Saturday morning when students found 63-year-old Daniel Brophy on the floor at one of the school's kitchens. Our Eileen Park has been speaking with some of those students and joins us now live with what's developing now. Eileen? Jennifer, Chef Brophy wasn't your average teacher. Students tell me he was tough but fair and that he would always go out of his way to help you out. As Dominique Boza whisks away at Palomar on Southeast Division, a job she got this year after graduating from the Oregon Culinary Institute, she can't help but think about her mentor, Daniel Brophy. He was really tough. Um, he was really hard. Um, he um, would call out some of the flaws that you had so you can correct them. There was a big flood that came down here and it buried a bunch of things. She shared with us this video of Brophy in his element. Knowledge, knowledge beyond belief. You think you come into culinary school like wide-eyed with like this dream of being a chef and he realizes like you can do that but there's a lot of things you need to know in between that. So many students wanted to share with us what he meant to them. They emailed me picture after picture of the 63-year-old, explaining how he single-handedly changed the way they look at food. He was a friend to everybody out of the school, holding stuff on the weekends to help you learn more, taking students out mushroom foraging or showing you how to properly raise a chicken from start to finish. Right now, Portland police detectives are looking for the person or people responsible. They need more surveillance video. There is a possibility that somebody has a surveillance system that we didn't see their camera, so we do ask if, if you do have surveillance and you haven't been contacted by police to give us a call. Now starting at 7 tonight, there will be a candlelight vigil for the chef here at the Oregon Culinary Institute. The public is invited to attend. Back to you.